Would y'all like to hear a little spoken word poetry? Okay, three people. Would you like to hear some spoken word poetry? Okay. This next artist is super awesome. You've already met him. It's me. Welcome. Do a little spoken word for you. I walk the middle path on the back of a razor's edge. I've traveled across the ledge of everything I know just to honor this vision that I have been given for my soul. There are days where I wear my religion like a complex shirt. It covers and protects me, but there are these dangling loose strings of doubt and worry, and I worry that if I pull them, the whole thing will begin to unravel and I will once again be left standing naked and alone in this world served cold. I unfold my clenched fist. And like droplets of ink splashed into water, I watch as they spread out from one another, five of them. Just like my extremities, like my senses, like my toes, like my pillars, like my prayers, I swear there's something mystical to this number, but who knows, it could just be a ridiculous coincidence, or maybe this is an incident of whispers from the divine. But I can tell you, there was always room inside our bodies for more negativity. And I have been guilty in the past of being one who would fill every space I could find with poison and self-hate. I began my escape the day I began to believe in something greater than myself. That something greater than myself that I began to believe was service to community. And this vision of a world where everyone is treated with respect and dignity. Two years later, I converted to Islam. Two things Islam taught me was how to work through grief and how to persevere. For we are a religion of hope. But I also know that there are wolves who will steal your happiness while wearing a smile. Because many men would rather suck bile through a straw than have to chew on an original thought for themselves. They are the ones who seal the coffins of transformative dialogue and introspection with their false allegations of haram and innovation. I have 1,023 middle fingers for all of these supposed religious scholars who are really nothing more than bullies, pushing people out rather than welcoming them in, pushing people into isolation. But spirituality is not just about salvation. It's also about community. Ya Allah, please forgive me. This is my story. You see, I took a journey through the desert and ran dry of water. So I went within and found nourishment in my relationship with God. We communed and I arrived at a destination of humbleness and gratitude. I cried and my tears gave life to an internal garden of courage and acceptance that my relationship with God is not determined by the circumference of man's control of earth, but rather it radiates from the radius of God, master of the entire universe. I now know my frustration, it arises when I start to pay mind to the rules of man rather than divine. When I focus on ritual rather than prayer. But alhamdulillah, with difficulty comes ease. And sometimes, sometimes God puts us through tests just to hear us cry his name, which is why so many people through pain found peace. In my search for God, I found community. And in community, I discovered God. And that's why religion is not meant to be solely practiced alone because it's also about love understanding and truth. And you can only find those things when you begin to see them in and celebrate them with each other. Thank you.